Hi everyone. Good morning all. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. Well. Okay, children. Now we are discussing the drawing shapes perimeter of a square and a rectangle. In the last class we have already discussed about the perimeter of a rectangle. Perimeter of a rectangle equal to two into length plus breadth. Then perimeter of a square is equal to four into one side. Do you remember that? Okay, children. Let us uh, discuss the some problems here. Then what is the first problem? The sum of the length and breadth of a rectangle is fourteen centimeter. What is its perimeter? We already know that the perimeter is equal to perimeter is equal to two into length plus breadth. The sum of the length and the breadth of a rectangle is fourteen centimeters. This is sum is given. L plus B is given. That is L plus B is equal to fourteen centimeters. Then this fourteen centimeters we are applying this equation. So we can write two into L plus B fourteen. Two into fourteen. So we can do it fourteen into two. Using the table two, four two is eight. Two one is two. What is the answer? Fourteen into two, twenty-eight. So we can write twenty-eight centimeter. Understood? In this question, sum of the length and breadth is given. So L plus B is equal to fourteen centimeter. So two into fourteen is equal to twenty-eight centimeter. Understood? Then what about the second question? The length of a rectangle is eight centimeter. The perimeter is twenty-four centimeter. What is the breadth? In this question, perimeter is given. What is the perimeter? Twenty-four centimeter. And the length is given eight centimeter. We need to find out the find out the breadth. Then we already know that the perimeter is equal to. Two into length plus breadth. Length plus breadth. Then in this question, length and the perimeter is given. Length and the perimeter is given. And its perimeter is equal to twenty-four. Is equal to two into length is equal to eight plus Breadth. B R E A D T H. Breadth. In this question, given the perimeter and the one side length, we need to find out the breadth. Okay. Then I want to find out this. Uh, so we already write two into length plus breadth is equal to. Twenty-four. So length plus breadth is equal to twenty-four divided by two. So these two we write into the right side. Then these two is are taking these two and writing to the right side. That time the multiply sign converted into division sign. So we can write. Twenty-four divided by two. Twenty-four divided by two, or we can write twenty-four divided by two. What is the answer? Twenty-four divided by two, twelve. Half of twenty-four, twelve. We got twelve. Twelve. So we already write length is equal to what? Eight. This two is writing to the Right side. So twenty-four divided by two is equal to twelve. So length is equal to what? Eight. Eight plus breadth is equal to twelve. Breadth is equal to twelve minus eight. Listen here. In this case, the two right into the right side, multiply sign converted into division sign. In this case, the eight we need to write into the right side. 
So this plus sign converted into minus sign. Understood? So breadth is equal to 12 minus 8 is equal to 4 centimeter. So we can write, we already know that the perimeter is equal to 2 into length plus breadth. Then perimeter is already given 24. First of all, we have 2 is right into the right side. The multiply sign converted into division sign. 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12. Then length plus breadth is equal to length is equal to 8. 8 plus breadth is equal to 12. So breadth is equal to 12 minus 8 is equal to 4 centimeter. Understood. Then we find out that the breadth is equal to 4 centimeter. Then another question is the third question. What is the third? What is the third question? Third question. The perimeter of a rectangle is 22 cm. What are the possible length and breadth? In this question, perimeter only given. Then we, we need to write the possibilities of uh, uh, length and breadth. We already know that the perimeter is equal to 2 into length plus breadth. Then 2 into length plus breadth is equal to what is 22. 2 into which number equal to 22? 2 into which number equal to 22? 2 into 11. 2 into 11 is equal to 22. We already know that. 2 into 11 is equal to what? 22. So we can write length plus breadth is equal to 11. Length plus breadth is equal to 11. So we can write 2 into 11 is equal to 22. Then we are writing the what are the possible length and breadth. In this case length and breadth is not given. We want to write the possibilities of length and breadth. So we can write length possibilities, 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 length, breadth. We already know that length plus breadth is equal to 11. Then we write the number first. 10 plus 1. That is 11. 9 plus 2. What is 11? Length plus breadth is equal to what? 11. Then we can write the possibilities of length and breadth. 10 cm, 1 cm. 9 cm, 2 cm. 8. 8 cm, 3 cm. Then what is the next one? Next one. 8 plus 3, 11. 7. Then 4 cm. Then 6 cm, 5 cm. Then any other possibilities? Add this length plus breadth is equal to 10 plus 1, 11. 9 plus 2, 11. 8 plus 3, 11. 7 plus 4, 11. 6 plus 4, 5, 11. So we can write the all possibilities of length plus breadth is equal to 11. Understood this one. So the perimeter is equal to 22. To length into breadth is equal to 22. Then we can write length plus breadth is equal to 11. Then next one we are writing, we can write the possibilities of length and breadth. Okay children, you understood this. Okay children, now discussing the another problem. The perimeter of a triangle is 30 cm. Two of its sides are 10 cm and 9 cm long. Find the length of the third side. We already know that the triangle has three sides. Triangle has three sides. Then the perimeter of these sides is equal to what? 30. We already studied the perimeter. How to find out the uh, perimeter of a figure? The sum of the all sides length. Sum of the all sides length is equal to perimeter. That perimeter is equal to what? Perimeter is equal to 30 cm. Then how many sides see here? The one side is 10, other side is 9. And the third side we need to find out. 10 plus 9 plus third side equal to what? 30 cm. So we can write 10 plus 9 plus 
third side is equal to 30 cm. So 10 plus 9, 19 plus third side is equal to 30. So we can write length of length of third side is equal to third side is equal to in this case 19 we need to write in the right side. That time the plus sign converted into the minus sign. So we can write 30 minus 19. 30 minus 19. What is the answer? 30 minus 19. You're doing the subtraction. 30 minus 30. Oh, this is a rectangle. 30 minus 19. So you do it. 30 minus 19. What is the answer? Then 0 minus 9 possible? No, 1 borrow from 3. Number become 10. This become 2. 10 minus 9, 1. 2 minus 1, 1. Then what is the answer? 11. The length of the third side is 11 cm. Then this side is 11 cm. Understood? Then we already know that the add these three sides equal to 30. Then two sides only given 10 plus 9 plus third side is equal to 30. 10 plus 9, 19. The length of third side is equal to the 19. We need to write the right side. That time the plus sign converted into minus sign. So 30 minus 19 is equal to 11 cm. Understood how to find out the third side. Then the next question is rectangle and triangle. Rectangle and Triangle. And what is the relation between the rectangle and the triangle? Then first of all we are right. Drawing the rectangle. This is one rectangle. Okay. In, in this picture we can write the corner to corner. Corner to corner we can draw one line. Corner to corner we can draw one line. Then we got two parts. What is the shape of this figure these two triangles two triangle this is the one triangle this is the another triangle how many triangle two triangle so the clarity of these two triangles this is a right angle triangle these two triangles are equal two triangles are equal so one rectangle we can draw one line corner to corner we got the two triangle these two triangles are equal in this figure, one triangle is given 7 cm, 5 cm. Then another one, we can draw a line corner to corner. This is 9 cm. The length is given. So, 5 cm, 7 cm. What is the next step? This is also 7 and 5 and 7. 5 and 7. So, we got all sides length. So, we need to find out the perimeter of this rectangle. And perimeter of these triangles. How many triangles is here? Two triangles. Okay. So first of all we are write the perimeter of the rectangle in figure 1. We already know that the perimeter P is equal to 2 into length plus breadth. It's equal to 2 into length 7 plus breadth 5. 7 plus 5, 12. 2 into 12 is equal to 24 centimeter. 2 into 12 is equal to 24 centimeter. Then we need to find out these two itself. These two triangles length. This perimeter is equal to what? How to find out the perimeter? We add these three sides. Add these three sides. So 5 plus 7 plus 9 is equal to. What is 5 plus 7? 12. 12 plus 9, 21. This is first triangle. Then we can write sum of uh, sum of the perimeter perimeter sum of the perimeter of the triangles of the of the triangles. How many triangles is here? Two triangles of the triangles. We already 
find out the perimeter of the triangle is equal to 21 centimeter. We already discussed these two triangles are same. Both are same. So first triangle of the perimeter is 21 centimeter. The another one is also 21 centimeter. So we can write 21 plus 21 is equal to 42 centimeter. Understood? Then one rectangle we can draw a line to the corner. Corner we got two triangles. These two triangles are same. So, so one triangle perimeter is equal to 21 centimeter. The sum of the perimeter of the triangles is 21 plus 21 is equal to 42 centimeter. Understood? Rectangles and the triangles. Okay, children, I hope you all understood this. Uh, so many questions given your test book, you do it that. Okay, children, let's find up the class now. We will meet the next class. Bye.